Hello friends, welcome to Dr. Varsha Gaitonde's channel. In this video, we shall talk about Chimera condition in plants. Chimera is a condition where there is some combination of different tissues or genes which give special appearance or different kinds of phenotypic expression. Let us see the theoretical definition. This is also spelled as Chimera. In botany, plant or plant part that is a mixture of two or more genetically different types of cells. Okay, different types of cells you need to remember. In the second definition, plant is said to be chimera when cells of more than one genotype that is the genotype means genetic makeup are found growing adjacent in the tissue of that plant. Variegated plants are perhaps the most common types of chimeras. The simplest definition of chimera says plant or plant part composed of genetically different layers is chimera. Example, flower variation, variation uh, alteration in the skin of fruit like color in apples or fuzziness in peaches. Chimera may be a graft hybrid, a bud that in plant grafted appears at the junction of the cyan and stalk and contains tissue of both plants. Okay, Chimera means it is the condition where different uh, tissues are joined together and give a special kind of appearance. So whenever we talk about a grafted plant, okay, in grafted plant what we will to take, we will take a stock okay cyan is a portion to which we are uh, interested in the upper portion of the plant either it may be for enhancing the character of uh, shoots or any kind like fruit character or flower character like that and uh, the stock character is always based on its strength to withhold certain diseases or how best it can be established inside the soil system based on that the cyan and uh, stocks are taken and the combination of different kinds of cyan's and stocks are also called as chimera which is the grafted hybrid that means when the characters are expressed differential characters are expressed in the further generation or in the same generation as the different character that is nothing but a chimera character Chimera is also called uh, in different forms like chimeric vector or chimera condition like that we shall discuss about it in the further slides. How chimera forms? There are three major factors for the formation of chimera. One is through mutation breeding, polyploidy breeding or clonal propagation means this is uh, this may be an accidental phenomenon as well as induced one. Mutations are single cell events while apical meristems of angiosperms are multicellular and multilayered. Apical meristem means the meristematic cells or the uppermost layer of the cells which are ten having tendency to continuous division or amenable for division. Mutation in a cell of the meristem would produce a plant that is chimera and has a mutated area or sector. In a cell, as I told you, in angiosperms, there will be many cells. That means it is multicellular and multilayered. So, when we talk about multilayered here, especially in case of dicots, there are three layers normally named as L1, L2 and L3. The L1 layer is outermost one, L2 is just beneath that and L3 is the innermost. So this uh, entire portion of the epidermal part is known as SAM that is shoot apical meristem. Okay, Always remember this portion is called as shoot apical meristem. L1 is the outermost monolayer of cell, epidermal cell and uh, leaves originate from this layer. Okay, As you know the uppermost layer, layer means always leaves will be originating from this. L2 is made up of one or only few cell layers and gametes are produced from the L2 layer. And the L3 is more, L3 is more loosely organized and comprised of many cell layers, cells of which divide in different directions. 
roots and vascular rings are formed from this particular third and innermost layer as uh, we talk about the stability of the layers l1 is most stable as comparing to l2 and l3 is least stable layer protein and rnas can move between the layers and there seems to be directionality directionality is determined as on a case by case basis and there are tissue specific constraints coming to the historical portion of chimera the first attempt for chimera was done by charles darwin means he was the first observer of this particular phenomena he traveled to new and exotic places and collected treasures in the form of novel species of plants and animals new varieties of plants were highly prized and breeders were therefore motivated to generate new and improved stocks that means the approach of mutation breeding started even during darwin's period by making interspecific crosses or by vegetative propagation or generation of the sport sport is always referring vegetative propagation it was defined as spontaneous change or mutation in a part of a plant that created a future feature not provisionally known within the species their sexual hybrids and descendants sports were notoriously difficult to maintain and would often be unstable the first reproducible and stable variant was described in 1674 and was called as bazaria orange the approach of bazaria orange was done by Petro Natti who was the director of Pisa Botanical Gardens published one of the first descriptions of a graft chimera known as La Bazaria resulting from grafting a sour orange cyan to a citron stock was done a bud arose at the graft junction with a unique mix of parental characters that means uh, we are talking about stock this is stalk and this is cyan the uppermost portion and uh, stalk is the boisal portion here what he did he took the sour orange as cyan and citron as stalk okay here citron and here sour orange so he got the different character he com combined the sweetness with sourness but he got some other character which is completely different from the original combination what is what was the nature of graft hybrids so the resulting hybrid branch in sexual hybridization or the union of vegetative tissue that means that followed somatic segregation or sexual hybridization or heterosis pattern the argument against sexual hybridization was the that you could not produce such plant by conventional breeding methods that means this is something different from the conventional breeding method which cannot be that means in conventional breeding method we cannot obtain such kind of quick results next scientist is winkler in 1907 as far we discussed about many scientists two three scientists who worked with chimera but they could not give a proper figure or proper definition to the word chimera but the original work was done by winkler in 1907 he coined the term chimera which is a fire breathing monster from greek mythology that has the four parts of a lion torso of the goat and hind quarters of the dragon that means if we talk about the head thorax and abdomen all the three parts from the different organisms like some animal some goat and like dragon okay that combination was basically called as drag um, chimera in greek terms but by using that particular idea winkler worked in plant what he did he was a german botanist and uh, in his experiment he took black nightshade that is solanum nigrum which was grafted on tomato tomato is lycopersicon solanum lycopersicon and at the next all the shoots were either of 
night shade or the tomato except one this arising at the junction of the two tissues had the character of night shade on one side and tomato on the other that means some part showed the combination of two means 50 50 characters got shoots that were all tomatoes all nightshade or half nightshade and half tomato coming to the genetics of chimeras heterogenomic refers to organisms that contain heterogenous or heterogeneous genomes that can be used to describe hybrids and allopolyploids in which Independent genomes are housed within a single nucleus as well as chimeras, genetic mosaics and heterokaryotic condition in which heterogeneous genomes are housed in separate nuclei. Here we focus on the different cases like heterokaryotic condition, heterogeneous genomes because Chimeras which are formed from a conglomeration cells that originated from separate zygote. Genetic mosaics which initiate from a single zygote and are subsequently induced or mutated into the heterogenomic state. That means when we talk about the generic or genetic chimera, here we always talk about chimeric condition by genome or heterogenomic condition and mosaic condition okay sexual mosaism or normal mosaism are also one of the part like chimera grafted plants which are formed through the physical joining of separate plant parts greatly show the chimeric condition that means vegetative propagation is the main reason for chimera production how the gene expression pattern occurs in chimeras chimera is controlled by switch on and switch off mechanism that means when we talk about operons here there will be positive control as well as negative control positive mechanism is controlled by different kinds of genes and negative mechanism is governed by different kinds of genes means the cassettes are entirely different but function as switch on and switch off okay and that particular phenomena is used for the expression of chimeric condition that means when the chimeric condition is expressed in different plant parts or different layers or different tissues that means particular gene is putting on or off at that particular place okay that means when genetically the expression is controlled the phenotypically expression will also be controlled and that will be switched on and off maybe the examples like you might have seen different variegated pattern of leaf characters or some of the orchids or uh, some of the gerbera like uh, flowers which i will be having different coloring patterns maybe in case of uh, it is most popular in case of hibiscus where you will find the combination of different characters even in a single flower the regulation in different layers as well as in the combination of layers is found in case of chimeras which is depending on location the nature of chimera depends on shoot apical meristem there is uh, one character or one kind of chimera known as cytochimera which are mosaics that differ in their cytological features typically in the nuclear size can be synthesized through induced or polyploidization with colgesin treatment which means when we give colgesin treatment for the polyploidy or doubling of the chromosome number cytochimeras are observed coming to some of the important points regarding chimeras to breeders when breeder talk about the breeding program it may be mutation breeding polyploidy breeding or positive vegetative propagation in order to create enormous amount of variation the progeny plants will be homogeneous non-chimeric mutants if the adventitious bud arose from cells of the mutant meristematic layer okay that means when homogeneous non-chimeric mutants are observed means mute it doesn't mean mutation is absent but 
mutant is not of that expressible form means it is in homozygous condition if non mutants and mutant traits will be lost if the buds arose from a layer other than the mutant layer adventitious buds arose from the epidermal cells at the base of detached leaf layer of many plant species in such case only l1 layer will receive while l2 and l3 will be lost as i told you l1 is mainly for formation of the leaf l2 for gametes if adventitious buds arose from epidermal cells at the base of detached leaf layer of many plant species here only l1 will be recovered because leaves are mainly related to l1 layer but l2 and l3 will be lost because it is not at all related to it in case of adventitious buds arising from shoots roots okay here we are talking about roots roots arise from l3 layer as i told you okay so here l1 and l2 doesn't have any role so these mutants will be lost or if we are concerned we have one concept about root or improving the root characters and we are inducing the mutations in l1 and l3 l2 layer that means it is a waste phenomena now we shall discuss about the kinds of chimera uh, based on the phenotypic and genotypic observations chimeras are generally classified as periclinal mericlinal sectorial and solid chimera we shall discuss one by one periclinal chimera are described according to the relative contribution of graft partners starting with the l1 that means periclinal periclinal means entire layer is chimera formation uh, for example here if the whole layer l1 layer is showing chimera character that means it is periclinal or if l2 is forming that is periclinal that means the entire layer should undergo a chimeric condition periclinal chimera are the most important category since they are relatively stable and can be vegetatively propagated that means when we are inducing certain mutations or uh, inducing chimeric conditions in l1 generation that is quite stable as comparing to l2 and l3 layer mutation produces a periclinal chimera if the affected cell is position near the apical dome so that the cells produced by subsequent divisions form an entire layer of the mutated type the resulting meristem contains one layer which is genetically different from the remainder or remaining portion example mutation occurs in uh, li then the epidermal cell of the shoot which is produced after the mutation is the low genetic type the thornless epidermis covers a stem whose cells contain the information for the thorny genotype this can be demonstrated by taking root cuttings the adventitious shoots which did differentiate on the root cuttings are not chimerial and therefore revert to the thorny genotype here periclinal means one layer is entirely having different character here in the picture you can see maybe one layer is different or here you can see the outermost layer is entirely showing a similar character that means the whole outer periphery is lacking the chlorophyll character that means gene expression or the operon hypothesis is regulated at that particular portion as switch on and switch off mechanism how it is maintained periclinal chimera by vegetative propagation based on pre-existing meristems because these are mainly maintained through vegetative propagation next is mericlinal chimera these are produced when the derivatives of the mutated cells do not entirely cover the apical dome 
a mutated cell layer may be maintained on only one portion of the meristem giving rise to chimeric shoots or leaves which develop in that portion while those of differentiate on all other portions of the meristem are normal non chimeric shoots many mericlinal chimeras involves such a limited number of cells that only a small portion of one leaf may be affected as was the case with periclinal chimera mericlinal chimeras are generally restricted to one cell layer here you can see in this picture this is a pic, uh, photograph of uh, mericlinal chimera here you can see only a very small portion or a bunch of adjacent cells are only showing the chimeric condition that is nothing but mericlinal the third type is sectorial chimera that is the result from mutation which affect selection of the apical meristem the altered genotype extending throughout all the cell layers this chimera is unstable and can give rise to shoots and leaves which are not chimera both normal type and uh, mutated types can be produced depending upon the point on the apex from which the shoots differentiate here you can see in case of sectorial chimera a complete one portion or section is affected that means l1 l2 l3 all layers are covered here but only to a certain extent means small portion is covered in all the layers that means here there is a confusing effect in the mutation form and um, we cannot expect the same expression in the next generations even though we may go for vegetative propagation but remember in case of periclinal chimera these are most stable when we go with the vegetative propagation here uh, one research paper has given me very informative information here now here you can clearly see the periclinal mericlinal and sectorial chimera kind of expression that means phenotypic expression observed in different plant parts the first picture is about periclinal chimera okay here you can see the periclinal means outermost layer expression of the chimera even though here also you can see the at the outermost layer here here everywhere it is only expressed at particular section that means periclinal means only in layers it is shown second is mericlinal okay mericlinal means little little effect the f figure you can see like dot or speck like formation where the effect of chimeric condition is at certain parts only like dots third one is sectorial chimera here you can see in this figure the whole section is affected okay here this is a sectorial chimera and the fourth kind is solid chimera solid chimera is like this if a leaf has to be yellow but it is showing red character that means chimeric condition is spread across the layer as well as across the tissues this is how the solid chimera is expressed this is the solid chimera okay hybrid of shoot apical meristem then uh, the chimera concept is nowadays fascinated and uh, uh, the modern approaches are applied for this in order to harness different characters and make use of it like there is one of uh, an concept called rainbow mosaics where the plant bromins different genetic portions or genes are taken into and uh, combined at one place and with the help of fluorescence their expression are identified clearly one more approach is crispr cas genome editing mosaics here by using this technique different variegated color of mutants are produced and based on the color the expression pattern of particular genes may be for keratin content or may be for some other special tra traits are studied as well as improved here coming to the advantages of chimera in mutation breeding chimera allows the exploitation of mutations that occur outside the apical and uh, axillary meristems 
it reduces the time in which result of commercial values are obtained often irradiation of detached plant parts yield a higher frequency of mutations if mutants are solid which facilitates their detection and utilization the importance of chimera in ornamental plants it gives more attractive flowers means variegated flowers catches the visitors eyes in some of the famous botanical gardens or flower gardens then in case of leaves also it gives quite different kinds of variation variation which again gives the aesthetic value and it helps in high production low susceptibility to diseases low energy requirement good keeping quality with attractive flower color compactness in being acceptance in the market coming to the disadvantages in field crops field crop breeding chimera is a nonsense a nuisance it results in unstable mutants creates so much clonal variation which leads to failure of clonal propagation attempts that means when we go for tissue culture our aim will be the equal maturity or ex equal uh, expression of the traits if we take the example of g9 banana the main motto behind it is to get the yield at the same time over hectares or over a large area okay and if some chimeras are produced there the expression pattern will be different and that kind of situation will lead to the somatic variation and that variation won't be helpful for our commercial purpose so now we shall see the uh, experimental utility advantages and disadvantages of individual chimeric types the first kind is interspecific chimera when we talk about the interspecific chimera here we take different science and stocks or we take a different uh, plants and we cross here the experimental utility is investigate cells autonomous versus non cell autonomous developmental programs track movement of non cell autonomous molecular information in horticulture purpose it can be used to physically combine desirable traits from separate species produces horticulturally valuable cultivars like cytisus admi and bizaria which i already explained in the first initial slides advantage of interspecific chimera is unique opportunity to investigate developmental coordination in a highly heterogeneous context disadvantages can be difficult to induce interspecific chimera formation the second is induced sector genomic mosaics this is again a different kind of chimera the agriculture utility is identifying when and where a gene functions during plant development that means by targeting a sector particular expression pattern can be found and this is not applicable for horticulture plants the advantage is allows for dissection of gene function without any knowledge of gene sequence its a disadvantage is gene of interest must be linked to the traceable marker example chlorophyll or keratinoid biosynthetic gene and the analysis of sectored plants can be laborious the third approach or third kind of uh, chimera is crispr genome editing mosaics it is used to dissect the gene function in a site specific fashion whenever the crispr hybrids are used crispr will be placed in one kind of plant and cas9 protein will be induced from other kind of plant and by hybridizing the expression will be by the combination of crispr and cas9 that will particularly target a specific portion and make its function that means it may edit particular genome utility or advantages to allow for fine tuned genetic mosaic analysis and disadvantages method may be time consuming the mosaic manifests in the f1 generation in single gene transgenic marker system here the track tissue linkages and identifying the founder cell number advantages similar to traditional probability mapping but does not require x ray or transposon mutagenesis disadvantages transgenic methods must be established for the species of interest rainbow transgenic marker system or rainbow transgenic chimera system 
The utility is this produces complex tissue and organ cell lineage maps. Uh, advantages enables multiple cell lineages to be tracked within a single organism. Disadvantages transgenic method must be established for the species, species of interest and uh, this approach is not acceptable in many countries. Then the next approach is transgenic complementation system. This is uh, dissect cell autonomous from non-autonomous then gene function in a cell specific manner and to investigate gene function of developmentally lethal mutations is the main motto here advantage which enables the elegant cell specific investigations of gene function disadvantages again transgenic method is not allowed in different countries cytochimeras these are helpful in cytologically tracking the cell lineages Advantages enables cellular level resolution of cell lineage tracking and technique can be applied to non-model species. Disadvantages is analysis is extremely laborious. Next is somatic injection. Here utility is linking the cytological features with mature plant traits produces genetic mosaics and in case of horticulture plants it produces double haploid breeding lines by using sen h3 method only advantage is one of few methods that link cytological features with mature plant traits disadvantages can only be employed in genotype that are amenable to somatic ejection like semi mutants ring chromosomes containing genotypes and transgenes having sen h3 lines last is sporting sporting is a form of uh, chimera which is applicable mainly in horticulture plants or uh, the plants which are propagated vegetatively vegetatively which produces novel horticultural varieties and rarely compromise uh, previously selected traits Advantages occur spontaneously and disadvantage typically occur infrequently very little or no control over which traits are modified. Here I was talking about chimeric vector, mosaic, sex mosaic and all different terms. Chimeric vector means vector which will be having different genes for the expression of different conditions. Okay, That means vector having characters from different genetic background then we were also talking about mosaics and sex mosaic mosaics means mosaic is a condition observed in plants because of the viral infection because of this the variegation pattern of color will be observed on the leaves or stem or other parts of the plant whereas sex mosaic means gynandromorphic condition sex mosaic mein kya hota hai? male and female conditions will be observed on the same plant part for example rice mein jaise aapne dekha hoga ek hi flower mein male and female uh, maujood hote hain jaise ki is figure mein aap dekh sakte hain yahan pe anthers bhi hai uske saath mein gynoecium portion bhi hai okay Thank you. The information furnished by me may be helpful for you to understand the concept of chimera, the historical portion, the definition, then different kinds of chimera, its utility in plant breeding as well as in uh, vegetable, vegetative breeding, its advantages, disadvantages. If you like this video, please do not forget to like, share, keep on subscribing and commenting. Thank you once again.